Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. You know, Linode has all kinds of distributions available, and that's awesome, but what if you want to create your very own custom image? You know, maybe build some tweaks into it, such as some config files that you want to have available at the very beginning when you launch an instance. Maybe you want to install some additional packages and have those packages available right from the beginning. Well, Linode actually enables you to upload a custom image, and what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to actually create a custom image. That way you can benefit from it with your Linode instance and spin up all kinds of Linux instances with your custom tweaks. Let's go ahead and get started. Like I mentioned in the intro, we'll be going over the process of uploading a custom image in this video. But before we get to that, there's a few limitations that I'll need to let you guys know about. And the first consideration is that each of your images must be under six gigabytes a piece. In addition to that, the maximum combined size for all of your images on your account is 150 gigabytes. Another limitation to keep in mind is that there can be only up to 25 total custom images per account. Now, if you start to approach a limitation, you can contact Linode support with additional information and actually see about getting that limitation extended. Just give them all the information you have about your use case, what you're trying to accomplish, and maybe they can help you out. But at least at the beginning, these are the limitations for your account, so as long as your images stay within these limitations, you should be fine. Now, of course, we need an image to upload, so what I'm going to do is show you one method right now where you could capture an image right from the Linode dashboard. There's other methods of creating a custom image as well, such as using Packer. You can check out the article that accompanies this video, and that'll give you some additional methods that you can use to create your image. Now, on my end, I have this Ubuntu server right here that I set up on Linode, and I've made some custom modifications to this image just to give you guys some inspiration. And here's that server right here. So what I've done is I've installed all available updates, And I'll show you right now. So as you can see, I have all updates installed. And this particular server is going to become my reference server, the server that I'm going to be capturing the image from. Another thing that I did was I set the host name right here to custom server. So when we create a new Linode from our image, it should also have the same name right here. So let's go ahead and capture an image. So here again, I have the Linode instance that I'm using as the reference server. So let's go ahead and take an image of this particular server. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Images tab, which is right here. And as you can see, I have no custom images at the moment. So let's go ahead and create one. So I'll click Create Image. And what we'll do next is select our reference server. In my case, it's this one right here. And then we'll select the disk. And we only have one option. For the label, what I'm going to do is call it custom server. And here in the description, you could put some notes in here, such as what your image contains, what are some of the changes that you've made. So that way, someone who looks at this might understand better what your image intends to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to write some notes right here. And I installed the Vim Knox package, which is my favorite package for Vim. And I also customize the host name. So what I'm going to do is go down here to create image. And it's scheduled for creation. So I'm just going to stay right here. We have the status and I'll just wait for that to become ready. And then I'll be right back. All right. So we have a custom image right here, ready to go. And we can even see the size right here. It's under six gigabytes. So we know it's good up here in your notifications. If there's any problem, you'll have a notification up there that'll let you know what the problem was but so far so good. So what I'm going to do right now is actually create a new Linode instance from this image. So I'll click the three dots right here. And what I'm going to do is deploy it to a new Linode instance. And here we are on the Linode creation screen. And as you can see, the image has been chosen for us because we selected the custom server image in our case. So that's already filled in. And then when we scroll down, we could choose our region. And then, of course, we could choose our plan, just like we would if we were creating a fresh instance. Okay. 
And I'll just call this new server. Should be good enough for an example. And let's do it. So right now it's provisioning. We already have the IP address for this instance. So I'm going to let this create and then I'll be right back. All right, so now it's booting up. I'm going to click right here for the Lish console. I like to watch it boot up. I think that's kind of fun. And here it is. We can see our new custom server is booting up. And we even have the login prompt right here showing the host name that I customized. So that's a good sign. Let's go ahead and log in. And there we go. As you can see, it says that there's zero updates. That makes sense because I created this image today and I made sure that all available updates were in the image. And because I used the image to create this particular instance, then of course, all the updates came along for the ride. Although it's beyond the scope of this particular video, there is a way that you could create your own custom image from outside of Linode. For example, you could use something like Packer and there's other methods as well. So definitely check out the article that accompanies this particular video for more options that you can use to create your own custom image. Customizing installations of Linux is one of my favorite things to do. It's one of the reasons why I love this platform so much. There's just so much that you can configure and change to make your Linux installation your own. And thanks to Linode's awesome feature set, you could benefit from your very own custom image on their platform, which is just great. So I hope this video has helped you out. If it has, definitely click that like button and be sure to subscribe because we have awesome content coming very soon and I can't wait for you to see it. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.